Hey, Wes GPT, can you make the YouTube channel to article work for old videos as well? I'm in the process of converting old videos on my channel into WordPress blog posts and would love if I could do this with the same AI agent. Thanks. So yes, we can definitely do this. We just have to make a small tweak to the code. Let me show you how. First, you're gonna head on over to youraiagent.com. Your AI agent is a comprehensive business suite of AI agents for your business or company. It's a web app that I'm building live on this channel. And what I'm doing is I'm taking your automation or agent requests and turning it into a nice, easy little package to help save you time and money. So enter your name and email address, password, and then click sign up. It will drop you onto the settings page. And the first thing you need to do is connect your website or database. So we connect with Blogger, Framer Database, Ghost.org, Hashnode, HubSpot, Medium.com, Shopify, a Supabase CMS, Webflow, WordPress.com, or WordPress.org. The user in her email, she's talking about a WordPress website. So for this video, I will set up a WordPress connection, but this works for any other website. So let's click on this tab. If at any point you're confused about connecting your website, you can click on this button up here. It says watch video, but scrolling down here, we need an application password. So first I'm going to name my integration. I'm going to call it my new WordPress website. And now we need a website URL, a username and an app password. For that, we need to go to our WordPress dashboard. First, your URL is everything after the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. So for this website, it's westfrank.com. I'm going to copy that and paste it in here. Now for the username, we're going to go to users, add new user, give it a username, maybe something like new poster, just input any email address. And then under role, we need to select editor, click add new user. Then on that new users edit page, you're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom, type in something for application password name. It could be anything. Click add new application password, and you're going to copy that new key. So copy, paste it in here. My username was new poster, and then I can click connect. If you're getting any errors, there's two things to check. First, go to settings, select permalinks, and then make sure that your permalink structure is anything but plain. Try post name or a custom structure. For this, I'm using a custom structure where it's the category and then the post name. And I can create these via the available tags. If that still doesn't work, try the username and password that you use to log into your WordPress dashboard. So those are the two things to try, but it should work with these setup instructions. I'm going to click connect. And if everything is good, you're going to get a notification. And that says your WordPress.org website is connected. So I can click OK and back on the connections page, scrolling down, I see my newest connection right here. OK, now I can go to the home page. This is where you'll see all of the AI agents that we currently have available. So take a look at these, see what would work for your business to help you save time, money, maybe even get extra traffic back to your website. The one we're looking for is YouTube channel to article. It's one of the newest agents and it transforms new YouTube videos from any channel into website content. I'm going to click start now. First, you need to select your website from the drop down box above. By default, my latest connection shows right here. Remember, it's the one I created that says my new WordPress website. And previously, the only option for this agent was to write articles for all new videos. So what the agent would do is it would sit dormant on the channel that you select and it would wait for a new video to be posted. And as soon as that new video is posted, it would take that video content and turn it into an article for your website. But with that past agent, there was no way to grab the older videos on a user's channel. Like my channel has 293 videos. It would be awesome if I could write articles about each of those videos. But now we can and it's super simple. You're just gonna click this button right here. I want to write articles for all past videos. Then the agent is going to go through one by one for each of the videos on your channel and write an article for your website. The first option in this workflow is to choose your content scheduling. So how often do you want this agent to post new articles? 
I recommend a posting interval of once every 12 to 24 hours. I'm going to keep that at 12 and I want to post on all days of the week. Next, we need a channel ID. So this could be either your channel ID or even someone else's channel. Let's say you want to write articles about videos that are on another user's channel. You can even do that here. And you know what? That's actually a great service that you could offer some other YouTube channels. If you're an AI agency, these users want articles about their videos, but it might just be too much extra work. This is a service that you can offer. You can reach out to some YouTube channels and you can offer them this for whatever price you think it's worth. When this user contacted me, she wanted to do it for her own channel. So to find your own channel ID, go to YouTube Studio. And then on the customization tab, scroll all the way down and you'll see it in the channel URL down here. I'm going to copy this channel ID and paste it into this input box. Next is the title prompt. So it's a descriptive title that sets the focus of the content to be generated. The dynamic data that we're including is the video's title. So it's not going to copy the video's title exactly. It's going to rewrite it and change it for an article format. You can change up the default prompt that I have, but I basically just say rephrase the YouTube video title into a unique, engaging article title that stays true to the overall theme. Next is the agent prompt. These are top level instructions describing what the agent is supposed to do and how it should generally behave and respond. I'm giving you 5,000 characters and the dynamic data that we're including is the video's transcript. So that's the entire video's text, what it's about and the title that we created in the last step. Feel free to play around with this to get the outputs exactly how you want them. You can refine this as much as you want. I'm giving you full control over the output. You can provide examples, change your style, your tone of voice, whatever you want. To get you started, I say you are an AI content creator tasked with generating unique, well-structured articles based on a provided YouTube video transcript and article title. Analyze the transcript to extract the key information, the insights, and the main ideas. Then synthesize this content into a fresh, coherent, and engaging article tailored to the provided title. Two options here is to include the source video in your article. You should probably keep this checked. I think it's good to have the video on the page. It improves the stay on page time, which is better for the Google algorithms. And if you're doing it for your own channel, Having people come from Google SEO over to your article and then watch your video is going to help with your view count and your overall subscribers. And you also have the option to publish the article automatically or you can send it to draft and then publish it later. I'm going to publish it right from the start. Next is the image prompt. So we generate one image per article. This is generated via AI and the image is based on the title of the article. Think of this prompt like a mid journey prompt. We're just passing in descriptive words like pronouns, nouns, verbs. For example, bright, eye-catching, minimalist, vibrant colors, clean design, high resolution. Keep it very short because we are actually generating a full and complete prompt based on the article title later in the back end. So you don't also have to prompt it yourself. We handle that internally. And then you can select your image model. We have a few to choose from right now. If one of your favorite models is not included on this list, please write in the comments below and I'll add it immediately. I'm going to start with Flux Schnell to see how they look and I can always change it later. So no pressure there. Boilerplate text is consistent blocks of text that appear at the end of each article. You can use this for social links, phone numbers, email addresses, anything that you want to include at the bottom of each article and keep it consistent. I'm going to leave that blank for now. And then for WordPress, we have the option for categories and tags. These are the things that you define in your WordPress dashboard. So they will dynamically appear here. I only have two categories and they're just for testing. I also only have one tag, but if you had a bunch of categories and a bunch of tags, they'd all show here and then you can categorize your posts properly. So I'm going to click start agent now and it's going to take me to the workflows page. I see that the channel ID was correct. It's targeting my channel, West GPT. And we can see the agent currently scraping all of the videos on this channel. So it's got through the first 50 right now. Now it's up to 100. 
and I'm going to pause this video for a bit, let it finish the task. It should just be a couple of minutes and we'll see if it can get all the videos on this channel. All right, just about a minute has passed. So it has finished scraping the entire channel and it's saying there's 293 videos remaining. This agent is going to work endlessly around the clock to finish all of these articles on your behalf. We'll check out the article it created in a second, but on this pop-up, you can change any of your settings. You can edit your prompts. If you don't like the output, you can refine them. You can change your images, change the model, add some boilerplate text, or edit your categories and tags. If you click here, you can see your full output history, every article that this agent has written, or you can click on the last article link right here. It takes me to my website and look at this GPT-5. Look what the AI image generator created. The text is perfect. And this article is about my latest video on the channel where Sam Altman mentions the roadmap for OpenAI and he talks about GPT-5 and how it would work. And look at this amazing article and my video is implanted right in the middle. So visitors that land on this page and read the article, they can also watch my YouTube video. If you want to try the YouTube channel to article AI agent for yourself, I'll leave a link to youraiagent.com in the description below. If you're a developer and you want to learn how to build your own AI agents and maybe turn them into a profitable web app, check out my online course, how to build a custom AI app. I'll drop a link to this in the description as well. And if you like this video, I put two more on the screen right now. Both of them been catered to your personal YouTube watch history. Give one of them a click for me, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there later.